In addition to customizing your desktop in Snow Leopard, you can also customize the screensaver that appears after a certain length of inactivity on your computer. Let's take a look. If I click on the Apple menu and choose System Preferences, I'm going to click on the Desktop and Screensaver button under the Personal category. And I'm going to make sure that the Screensaver button is chosen. Now if I scroll to the top of this area on the left, you can click on different options to see the different screensavers that are available. And so some of the interesting ones here, I can display iTunes artwork if you're using the iTunes music player to organize your music on your computer. You can use a RSS visualizer, you can add RSS feeds into here. This shows us the hot Apple news feeds. And we can choose Shell, Spectrum, and even Word of the Day if you want to increase your vocabulary while working on your computer. To see what any of these screensavers look like, simply choose it and click the test button. To get out of the screensaver, simply move your mouse and you will deactivate the screensaver. If you want to, you can completely customize what appears as your screensaver. So, for example, we can use a folder full of images, maybe display images of your children or your family as the screensaver when your computer goes to sleep. So, what I'm going to do is down here, we have some existing folders of pictures that it's going to use, but I'm going to add my own. So, if I click the plus sign, I can choose Add Folder of Pictures. So I'm going to make sure that I'm in my home folder, then I'm going to click on the pictures folder and then choose the nature folder. And when I click choose, now I have my nature folder that has been added. And if I click the test button, it will display those images that I've added in my folder in a previous lesson. To exit, I simply move my mouse. You can also choose to use a random screensaver. So if I click that checkbox, it'll use a random screensaver when one is needed. I could choose to show any of my screensavers with the clock. So if I test this, you can see that it displays the current time as well. I'm going to uncheck that. And then main screen only will only show the main photo inside of that folder. So I'm just going to exit out of that. I'll turn that option off. I can also choose to set a hot corner to activate my screensaver. So if I click the hot corners button, I could choose any one of these corners of my screen to use to activate my screensaver. So if I choose the upper left corner and choose start screensaver, when I move my cursor into the far upper left hand corner, it'll activate my screensaver. So that's useful if you just want to quickly make sure that your screensaver gets activated when you want it to. Move my mouse to exit out of that. And if I click in the upper left hand corner and choose the hyphen, that will turn off activate screensaver for that particular corner. I'm going to click OK. I'm also going to show you new in Snow Leopard are these three buttons here that allow you to control other aspects of your slideshow. So if I click on the second button which is collage and test it, you can see that it creates a pretty cool effect inside of your screensaver and just kind of adds the photos in that folder as a pretty neat collage of folders on your desktop. So that's pretty nice. New in Snow Leopard. I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard to exit out of that or just move your mouse. And the third option is to use a iPhoto library. It's going to use the artwork from your iPhoto library and if you're using iPhoto which is a photo organizer this will work but unfortunately I don't have iPhoto set up on this computer. So I'll just go back to the normal slideshow method and a couple more options is down here right now my screensaver is set to start after 20 minutes of inactivity. Now you can see that I have a warning button because my energy saver is putting my computer to sleep before this. So I'm never going to have a chance to see the screen saver. I could fix this by clicking the open energy saver preferences link. And you can see that inside of here, 
my computer and the display is set to activate after 15 minutes or basically put the computer to sleep after 15 minutes. So I'm going to drag this slider to an hour and maybe change my display sleep to 45 minutes. Now my screensaver will activate before my computer goes to sleep or the display goes to sleep. To go back to your screensaver preferences, click the show all button and then click on desktop and screensaver. And one more thing to note is if I click the options button, I can also control some other parameters that allow me to control how my images look when they're being displayed in the screensaver. So I'm just going to cancel out of that and I'm going to exit the screensaver preferences by choosing system preferences, quit system preferences, and that's how easy it is to configure your screensaver in Snow Leopard.